Hey, welcome back to my Let's Play of Destaven Emperors. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. Welcome back to Destaven Emperor, episode 9. <laughs> now then, just to let you know, I did get into a couple battles on the way back here, and I, as you can see, I did pick up Goji, like I said, but I also picked up Hua Zhang, and I put him in. He actually said okay, didn't have to pay for him. One of the things I also did, as I did mention in the last episode, that I need to start carrying some seeds, so I'm just going to hold on to two. That way, if I run into someone, they're like, hey, I want a horse, I get him. Oh yeah, by the way, if you run into Lee Ru, and he wants to join and needs a horse, I would give him a horse. He would actually be really good to have for a while. Really poor strength, but I would use him as a tactician only. And I did fight him, he was like, hey, I'll join if you give me 800 gold. I was like, nah, I'll save it. It's not that big of a deal. Who are you? Hmm. Let's see, I kicked his ass. He comes over here after being beaten up, and then he kicks your ass. Man, you're terrible. It's not my fault you suck. Bye. Well. Let's go. Oh yeah, I do believe I can. Dongzhou and Lu Bu. You're smarter than Hua Zhang and you have some tactics. Woohoo. Well, he also has a better weapon <laughs> than Lu Bu, but he's gonna do about the same amount of damage. So that'd be fun. Focus on the bigger threat, <laughs> Lu Bu. <laughs> yep. <sighs> yeah, Dongzo is a lot weaker than Lubu, but he's doing the same amount of damage because he has the better weapon than Lubu. Yeah, in case you forgot, his Dongzo's AP is 50, Lubu is 30. Lubu is basically using the next weapon, a club. Dongzhou uses in the spirit. That's the next upgrade of the after the club. That's the only reason why he's doing more damage. Well, uh, doing the same amount of damage. And Lubu can still do a lot of damage even though he's under threshold. But it's a lot less. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, see? That's still a lot of damage. Dongzo can do some damage, but yeah, we have it. Shannon. Ninety-nine. Yep, we're getting lots of food now, so we're gonna be okay. Okay, I had to take a little pause break right there. My dog wanted some scratches. But, uh, let's continue on. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, do not trust him. Foreshadowing. <laughs> let's see. Yes, Tiger Generals. Yeah. Then, according to history, there are five Tiger Generals. But, uh, I'm going to refer to any general that will gain uh, troops with you as a tiger general for this. I'll point out exactly who each tiger general is once I get them, but that'll be later on. Oh hey, this looks silly. Yeah, it looks different. 
Dr. Smoth heal. Hey, Gem Sword. Excellent. Why is that? Yeah, the gem sword is just an item. It's not something you can actually equip or use. Okay, uh, let's explore. Yeah, he's looking for the gem sword. I have it. Yep, this city was burnt down, destroyed. Yeah. Dongzhou, he tried to make it. Uh, Chan'an, the capital after he burned down Luyang. Let's see. Well, eh, yeah. he wants a sword. I lost one battle and my brother doesn't give me food. I'm going home. And you have a sword. Wang Gui. Uh, important thing to know about him, you have to get Yang Jin first in order to get this guy. He, Yang Jin doesn't have to be in the party, but you just have to recruit him. Let's see, is he in party? Nope. Uh, next chance I get to actually go check him out, to the uh, eatery. There's one in the next town. Not a big deal. I'll show him off to you. And Cow Cow is actually still chasing him down. Oh, yeah, I already talked to you. So. Okay, yeah. That is Wang Yun's house. Did I save it? Yeah, not save it for the night. Yep. Okay. okay, let's move on. Venture. Mm -hmm. And 153. Yeah, not too bad strength. Yeah, he's a crappier version of Hwajong. And he's an even crappier version of Hwajong. And... Yeah, hold on. Three six. Ah, eh, screw it, one. Oh, no, no. Not you. You're dumb. You know what? Why not? He has twice the amount of Fencho. I just want to see. Or as long as it's very poor, I'm not going to use it. Yeah, anyone can technically use it. As you see, 191. That's the highest I've ever seen it. I thought 186 was high. <laughs> Go Zhang Fei. But he's not reliable with it. <laughs> eh, which is all I'll finish this. But, uh, yeah. As I said, it can be randomized. It's just that you're more likely to have uh, better success and higher damage output with, uh, uh, with someone with higher intellect. It's not guaranteed, but it's like a better chance. No. Okay. I use a lot of tactics. <laughs> Just to goop off of that. So I will meet you right back here. Okay, and we're back. I came over here because... Well, besides this is the way we're going, but... I got into like five battles from like there to here. I'm not going to edit out each individual one. Takes too long. And okay. Mostly full. Good on tactics. Alright, let's go take on Chang'ang. Lubu again. Okay, this is not Chang'ang. One thing you could do here is you could use the gem sword on Lubu and he'll join you. He'll have the exact same stats, 255 strength, 72 intellect, and 439 soldiers. Thing is, it'll make the the upcoming areas and after this battle actually be a lot easier, but we'll be fighting 
the battles he would be in if we don't recruit him will be a lot less experienced and won't be as challenging. But if you do give him uh, the gem sword now, he will actually tell you about Chichuma. The horse we picked up a couple episodes back that I gave to Zheng Fei. That's how you're supposed to know about it, but I picked it up because I'm not going to recruit him. So let's see. Kai Young. He's smart. He is smart. He is smart. SMRT. I mean, SMART. Hmm. <laughs> might use them. But I doubt it. Eh, focus fire Lubu first. Like always. Because he's the biggest threat out of all of them here. Stop it! Kaiyong, I don't really expect our tactics to hit him, and while he can do more damage with that Yiho, Lubu can do just as bad if he crit. Yeah, but Lubu is my main priority. And then my melee guy, those are going to use melee to hit Kaiyong, Lu Feng Guan Yu are going to burn up who's that? Yeah, Kaiyong's actually pretty good for this area. I didn't really use him because I had, like, Kwazong. It was always more like, yeah, I'd rather have physical, but Kaiyong actually ain't that bad. He is, uh, like, 50 points weaker than Kwazong, but I don't expect, uh... Well, Kwazong's not doing too great physically anyways, and Kaiyong I could just have using magic. And if I'm going that route, Kaiyong and Guan Yu would be my spellcasters in Lupang because he's stronger than Hwasong. Hey, good job, Zeng Feng. And Guan Yu, please. I would just have Kaiyong be a, my uh, spellcaster with Guan Yu. Lupang would just be attacking. One twenty-three, twelve hundred. All right, in the level. Jai C. Let me double check what that one is. Okay, I double checked what it does. It reduces uh, enemy tactics, uh, their statuses. So if they had like Wu Jian or Cheng Nei, you know, makes them take less damage. Then uh, it reduces its duration time. But, oh well. I'm not really worried about it. But, uh... I think I'm going to end the episode here. We'll check out this castle here next time, and we will see what's going on. And we will continue our pursuit of Dong Zhuo to Chang'ang. So thank you for joining me today. Y'all have a nice day.